Hey guys, Hermit here from Photo Insomnia and today I'm going to show you how I take good old negatives from the 35mm film days and convert them into uh, positive digital images on my computer. So what I use for that is just a standard DSLR. Um, you don't have to use a DSLR if you've got a mirrorless camera, you can use that as well. What you do need is a is a macro lens, and uh, I'm shooting um, today on my Canon 7D using the 100 mm USM macro lens from Canon, and um, I have built a little box, uh, a little light box, um, which emits white light, and it basically backlights the negative. So that is pretty important because uh, you can try and convert these negatives using your standard flatbed scanner. But the problem with that is it's front lit because the sensor that is lighting up the negative as it goes under it um, and it's reading the light so it's front lit and it's not able to read the colors correctly and um, when you try and invert the image it doesn't look right so you have to do a lot of post processing the idea behind my little setup is the same i use basically a backlit um, white light which is picked up by the macro lens of the camera and the way I do this is I tether my camera so my Canon 7D is tethered from my camera using its USB cable directly into my um, iMac and I have Lightroom running on that so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing on the Lightroom side what I do is basically I start a tethered capture Let's say start tethered I'm calling that session as negatives and it's going to create uh, images called negatives here which is fine and I've chosen already my destination folder so it's going to put all the images there I can put some keywords here negatives if I can spell that right negatives um, conversion digital image um, yeah that's about it click OK and now you should see my camera in a second no it doesn't so I think my camera has gone to sleep now there we go um, now the settings on the camera ISO 100 because I want the cleanest image possible um, and I am also looking at um, f11 because it's a macro lens the depth of focus is very small now, if you look at a negative, it's pretty flat. But when you lay it down on a flat surface, you might see a small curvature in the film. So I wanna make sure that that height, that when it lays flat, that area, all of the depth is covered. I wanna make sure that I capture the entire detail and nothing is soft, basically, um, in terms of depth of field. So what I've got here is I'm shooting in manual mode, I think, from memory. Yes, Man manual mode, f11, 100th of a second. White balance is auto. And my develop preset, I'm using the negative to positive. So what this preset does is basically converts the image from a negative to a positive, which is just inverting the curve of the image. Um, because it's properly backlit, um, you get the right color straight away. All you have to do then after that is maybe some color correction, contrast adjustment, um, noise reduction, and maybe even um, white balance adjustment if it's not uh, um, correct. So that's all set up. I'm going to start taking some pictures. So what I've got is my camera set up down here, and I'm going to look through the viewfinder make sure the image is in focus yes and my focus point I'm not shooting in manual focus I'm shooting in just uh, autofocus it's letting it focus every time um, you could shoot it in manual doesn't matter um, so I'll focus and I will hit the shutter button there we go the flash fired the image is lit and now the image should be coming directly through into the camera and we'll see the image as it comes through there we go that's it now it's getting converted straight away to the positive as you can see here um, what I can do next is go into the develop module by pressing D 
um, I can adjust the white balance, it's a bit too blue. So I will adjust that. There you go, that looks much better. I can now crop in this image and adjust the size. Better and rotate, resize that down to standard frame. Choose here, which would be easier, it's 4x6. Uh, that would allow me to have the correct ratio. Click done, and there we go, that's the image. So, what I'm going to do now with this image is just do some basic adjustment. Um, I'm going to add some contrast, moving that slider across. Highlights, I can adjust these in shadows. I'm going to darken the shadows. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Now I've got to go the other way to darken the shadows um, just because the curve is flipped. Now the whites actually are now the blacks and the blacks are the whites. So if I want to move the um, whites on the image, I actually have to go and move the black slider. See here I'm adding the whites so the sliders get flipped. So I'm going to stretch this out about there and I'm going to also do the same for the blacks pull that across a bit more there we go starting to look a lot better and I'm going to add some more shadows maybe adjust exposure a little bit and again you can see the exposure slider is inverted as well so I need to go to the opposite way and it's a tricky stuff this is uh, when you have to edit the raw image. It is a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna add some vibrance, more saturation, and there we go, that's the uh, edited image. So fairly quickly, once you take the image, which is a negative into Lightroom, you can basically convert that into a positive image, do your edits, and you're ready to go. So now I'm just gonna shoot a few more images and have them load up in Lightroom. Gonna take another shot. There we go. Instantly, basically, it's loading up in Lightroom the next image, um, and it brings that up for me. That looks pretty clean. Um, I think I'm gonna change the white balance because that's not spot on at the moment. So I think I'll rather stay with the auto white balance setting, and I will adjust the white balance in Lightroom itself. So I'm gonna click here. There we go. Crop. I'm not gonna use original. Well, I can use original, which is the same, 4x6, because that's the sensor on the 7D. And we're gonna crop this image. Move that across. Maximizing the area. done and that's the image so again I'm gonna bring the exposure down a bit because it looks like an afternoon shot sun very bright and add some blacks and pull some of the whites down again add a bit more contrast a bit more vibrance touch more saturation a bit more clarity about it there you go so let's look at the before and after this was it before um, you can see the white balance is completely off but now it's much better and you know what it's not half bad a raw image um, again depending on the size of your sensor you can have um, as big of an image as you possibly can now I've got uh, the Canon 7D and the Canon 80D, which is shooting the video right now, um, the 80D has 24 megapixels, so ideally I could be using that camera to shoot this and have the larger resolution image coming through. Um, but on the 18 megapixel, again, cut down, it's probably still 16 or 15 megapixel. Uh, still pretty decent sized image to be able to take your negatives and preserve them as digital images. Um, and then of course whenever you want you can take them to a lab and print them out So I hope you found this useful hit that like button if you like this video subscribe if you're not subscribed already 
and I'll see you in the next video.